What's going on? As you can see in the title today, we're gonna to be discussing a few parts that I will be installing on the car today in the next few days. So uh, these parts are currently for a 2015 Mustang GT, but if you currently own a 2015 and up, this is the video for you. Uh, like I said, uh, I do a lot of track racing. Uh, so, you know, I wear out components on the car. But uh, like I said, uh, if you're planning on picking up a set of BMR uh, rear control arms, upper, go and check this part in that right here. You can purchase this from uh, Lethal Performance or Team BK or American Muscle or Stita. But Stita has a different style type on. It's a lot beefier than this one. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. Uh, this arm roughly runs about $359. Plus, if you add the warranty, the one year or the two year, uh, like I think I paid like almost close to $475 with shipping and everything. And uh, like I said, uh, right now, currently waiting on the uh, lockout plate to go on the the back of this so basically it will hold up to your uh, RS in the back and you lock it down and then you add the hardware to the center hole right here so basically you're locking out the rear camper and uh, that way it make it easier for you to make adjustments uh, I'm looking for zero uh, camper on the rear. Uh, I'm trying to utilize all the tire. Uh, as you know, we do have issues with uh, camper wear, so we do eat up tires in the back, and hopefully this will fix the issue. So uh, that's that. And then also in another video, I had installed these into a lower control. Arm. Uh, this roughly runs about 259, so probably with shipping, probably paying like close, close to three. Uh, there are two different styles. Uh, you got this one and this one. This one roughly runs about 159, so I ended up buying both just to decide which one I wanted to go with. Uh, both of them I ordered from Team Beefcake at that time. And uh, like I said, uh, I am currently probably going to sell those for probably like around 100 bucks. Uh, it's just, I'm just going to take a loss. You know, it is what it is. But uh, here's the finished product. Oh, let me show y'all. Right there. Uh, it does have a snap ring that you have to put around it. But uh, like I said, it's a spherical uh, bushing. So same thing with your upper control arm. Uh, like I said, it just helps eliminate some of the movement back there, you know when you're dealing with, uh, especially when you're dealing with a manual car, because it's so, it's so hard on the suspension. So, uh, I do plan on uh, going with the Viking Crusader rear shop. Uh, later on, I already talked to Kill Track about that. So, uh, we'll see how that goes down the road. Uh, but, you know, small things you know first then we'll go hit the track see how all this stuff works out but uh like i said i currently have on the car as it sit now is uh bmr drag springs uh i do have bmr uh vertical links uh bmr tie rods uh 
BMR sub frame braces. Uh, I do have a Skeeter track brace on the front. Uh, and then as far as the RS bushings, uh, I cut those out, put the polyurane red inserts in there. Uh, didn't want to go with the solid black ones because you get a lot more MVH from them. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the rundown on that. And uh, like I said, uh, I hope this helps you out on deciding on what to go with uh, for the ones that are planning on doing anything to their cars uh, as far as suspension-wise. You know, just figure out where you, what direction you want to go with your vehicle. If you plan on uh, tracking it or road racing, if you're going to road race, be careful. You know, and you still have uh, never be too safe doing either one. But uh, just be safe no matter what you're doing, street or track. Uh, like I said, uh, we do have to get uh, some tires for the wheels. Because, you know, I'm getting that itch. I got these bad boys wrapped around another set of hoosers. But I'm probably going to run a block ply 28 by 10 and a half or 11 and a half. Uh, we shall see. But uh, I just want to say thank y'all for uh, tuning in, watching the video, and supporting and then if y'all haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that. You know, it's your boy Gen2 Coyote coming at you. And uh, I hope y'all like this video. And if y'all got any feedback, just uh, just holler at me, you know. I appreciate y'all. Later.